Good day fellow investors, today I want to share with you my top 10 favorite investing books. There will be something for beginners, but there will be also something very important also for advanced investors. So stay tuned, let's go through the 10 books I think are crucial for any investor to read. The first book, Greg Arnold, The Great Investors. So this is not such a famous book, but it is an essential book, I think, for beginners because it discusses all the investing strategies applied from the great investors in the past. You have, of course, Buffett, Munger, Lynch, Soros, Templeton and other less famous, very successful UK investors like Neff or Bolton. So very easy read uh, for beginners. I really, really recommend this book, which is not on the most famous books, but a great book to start to see about different investing strategies that boil down always to value, to quality, to great businesses as Buffett started the era. So really, really good book for a read. Number two, do I need to say much about this? Benjamin Graham, I have a complete playlist. I will finish it soon with the summary of the book. So if you don't want to read the book, because it's a great book, but it was written in 1972. So the mindset is still there, but a lot of things are a little bit obsolete. So I made a playlist, a complete list. We are now at chapter 17. So you have the full summary of the book. You will have it soon in the next month, I hope here on the YouTube channel. So check that summary if you prefer listening or video, or if you prefer me explaining what's in the book in a little bit easier comprehensive language than what the book uses from the 1970s. Nevertheless, if you love reading, crucial, essential book to read. And if you just get your hands on it from the library, chapter eight and chapter 20 is according to Buffett, all you need to know for investing. Now you'll say, Sven, what are you presenting this clown for investing purposes? Well, this clown works hard and he wrote this book, Money Master the Game, which is crucial for investors because, okay, save more, uh, pay off your credit cards. That's crucial for accumulating wealth through time. But Anthony Robbins knows a lot of people and he can get to the right people. So he has interviewed in this book, Kyle Bass, Carl Icahn, uh, Templeton is in the book, Ray Dalio, Paul Tudor Jones, that he has been coaching for a very, very long time. I believe it's more than 20 years, one of the greatest traders in the world. So he is what he is. Everything that's written here holds, but he gets to the right people. So if you're an advanced investor, reading through those interviews, through that mindset will always be a nice thing to read. Plus, I think all the money from the book goes to charity. So it's a zero loss, huge upside, just if you get a few intelligent wo words of wisdom from the great investors that he interviewed. Now, a book, Modern Value Investor from Sven Karlin. It's a guy that I know pretty well, so it might be a little bit biased, but it's a great book because, as I said, Benjamin Graham was written in 1971. And since then we have had the margin of safety, but not much such, not much books on value investing and not much books that approach value investing from the modern way in an easier language than what it is with the intelligent investor. So I have put in essential value investing tools. So unlike this, which is more theoretical, this is practical with 25 tools to really apply when analyzing a stock. On top of it, I have discussed behavioral finance, modern port portfolio, behavioral finance, modern portfolio strategies, gold hedges, all weather portfolio and hyperbolic discounting and things like that, that really put a modern perspective on the modern value investment environment. So I think you will really enjoy it. The feedback from those that bought the book was amazing. So I really can recommend this book now among the top 10 books to read for investors. And now a book that is really amazing and extremely important for everyone, whether you're a trader, investor, whatever. And this is Daniel Kahneman, Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow. That explains the behavioral ways we think whenever we do something. The next book that I will write will be uh, based on Kahneman's book, Thinking Fast 
and thinking slow for investors. When I get the time, when I get the will to write another book, that will be my next book. But it's a pretty heavy read, so uh, it is a Nobel Prize winner, so don't expect uh, fairy tales, but every paragraph, if you have the will to read it, is filled with as eternal wisdom about how our mind works and how you can apply that mind on investing. Until I write my book based on his principles, based of, on what he found, how our mind works, that's the only option for now. If you have the time and if you love reading, it's a great read. I think it's 700, 7800 pages, but it's Warren Buffett's life that he discussed with, with, with Alice Schroeder and they wrote all his stories, all his investing stories. And I think this book is crucial because it really shows how a portfolio, how invest is built over a lifetime, how investing goes over a lifetime. It's not about who, what stock to buy in the next two quarters like everybody else is thinking about. It's about a lifetime, building value, great businesses, buying dividends, buying at the margin of safety, uh, dealing with issues, dealing with trouble, and how Warren Buffett went across it. So if you want to know Warren Buffett, apart from everything else that's said on YouTube or wherever, this is really the way to know Warren Buffett in depth and really learn how he did what he did. There is so much in it from the stories. Another book, I forgot it here, I don't know, it probably on the shelf still there, there. Uh, Market Wizards, so that's interviews with traders. Now, why would I recommend the book that talks about traders? It's even an older book because it gets you a perspective on how the market works because the market is so irrational that even if you are a value investor, a great business owner, you trade from time to time and you want to take advantage of the market's trading irrationalities, what great traders usually do. So I really recommend this book, especially if you're a trader, but even if you're just an investor, to better understand how the market works. To better understand how the market works, the market cycles, and how to ta take advantage of those self-reinforcing cycles, The Alchemy of Finance, this is in Croatian, this was the first investing book I read, I must have read it 10 times over my lifetime, so uh, check George Soros, it's a hard read, but it's worth it. So it's a lot to understand from hedges, from tests, market testing, how the market works. He's not a great narrator, but he is a multi-billionaire that trashed every other investor. So a lot to learn from him. And now one of my favorite authors that will blow your mind if you haven't read him and uh, don't read it if you're happy with how things are in your portfolio. If you want to be hedged, if you want to protect yourself against the unknown, if you want to make a lot of money on the unknown by betting small parts of your portfolio, then this is the book for you. So we have Antifragile, we have of course The Black Swan and Skin in the Game, which is the last book, but uh, I think there are two free pages for investors. So you can really focus on The Black Swan and on Antifragile. How to build a portfolio that is uh, protected from black swans that happen much more often than you might think and how to also build that portfolio so that it gains when things go bad. So not robust portfolio, that's, that doesn't exist, that it is anti-fragile, so when it starts shaking you get higher. So I love Taleb, really, really nice books, really nice uh, ways of explaining things, the stories from Fat Tony, from how things really work in the world. So you might want to uh, check his all trilogy and the Inserto uh, books. So please do that and enjoy your read. Please share this if you have any investors that are looking for uh, books to read. If you know any beginner investors, always you can tell them start with books. If you're a beginner investor, read at least 10, 15 books about investor investing and that will be give you a better perspective on whatever you do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.